Australian mining tycoon Clive Palmer has revived his idea of building a replica Titanic 12 years after first floating the idea. The billionaire held a press conference at the Sydney Opera House on Wednesday, 13th March. Palmer unveiled the current designs for the vessel, which he said would be far, far superior than the original. Palmer said that tenders for construction would go out in June this year, with contracts signed by December 2024. Titanic 2 is expected to enter service in June 2027. Right from the outset of the Titanic 2 project in 2012, Palmer stated that his vessel would be built in China's Jingling Shipyard. The Jingling Shipyard is a state-owned shipbuilding company located in Jiangsu, China. Exports started in 1996, since when Jinling has exported over 200 vessels to over 30 countries. Jinling specializes in building cargo ships. Jinling had built three large cargo ships for Palmer's mining business. They were very keen on entering the cruise ship construction market. However, choosing Jinling was a very brave idea, not without risk. At the time, China had never built a large luxury cruise ship, so building a 1912 reproduction ocean liner would almost certainly be a very big challenge for them. However, respected naval architects, Delta Marine, were appointed by Palmer and have been designing the Titanic II. They have now advised him that China was not the best choice of shipyard for this project. But do you definitely have a shipyard confirmed? No, we've got, as I said, if you, if you go back fast, we're co we plan to put the tenders out in June and then we'll contract before, um, before December, right? And then we'll, we hope to start construction in the first quarter. And of course, we did have a shipyard um, when we first announced it with the, in China, but we've determined that the Chinese shipyards are not up to the same quality of ships when it comes to passenger vessels, right? So that's been the recommendation. So it is very likely that a European shipyard will now be chosen. Popular European cruise ship builders are STX Europe, Meyerwerft, Fincantieri, and Chantier de l'Atlantique. However, we do not yet know which one. Palmer estimated that the construction cost of the ship will cost up to 1 billion pounds.